antigens. Let us discuss briefly about antigens. Yes. Now, see, antigens. This antigens, anti means against. Anti means against. Then, gen means generate. Generate. This is the actual meaning of antigen. Anti means against, gen means generate. Now, antigen is technically called as immunogen. This word you should remember. Wherever you get the word immunogen, it is nothing but antigen. Okay. So, immuno means immunity, gen means generate. So, antigens generate immune response. Hence, they are called as immunogens. Okay. Now, let us see what is the correct definition of antigens. Now, antigen is a foreign molecule. It is a foreign molecule that can stimulate a specific immune response. You know that is at the end of the immune response, there are production of antibodies. When antigen come to the body, antibodies are produced. So, the molecule which stimulates production of antibodies inside the body is referred as antigens. Or we can say, they are the foreign molecules that can stimulate human response in the body. They are called antigens. Now, chemically, antigens are proteins or some antigens are polysaccharides. Nothing but polysaccharide means carbohydrate. Some antigens are made up of carbohydrates and some other antigens are made up of combinations of protein and carbohydrate. Therefore, chemically they are glycoprotein. Glycoprotein. So, chemically antigens are proteins or polysaccharides or glycoproteins. Now, where do they found? Many times I told you, remember it is antigens are present on surface of microbes. Suppose this is a microbes. On the surface of the microbes, there are antigens. That is the point is most important here it is. Many times you think that microbes are antigens. But microbes, disease causing microbes are called pathogens. You should know the clear cut difference between pathogens and antigens. This complete organism is called pathogens. On the surface of pathogens, there are antigens. They may be proteins or polysaccharides or glycoproteins. So these are antigens. Okay. Now, of course you know that this, all the antigen, they cause disease. Disease. So, antigens are present on the surface of the pathogens. That's why definitely all the antigens, they cause disease. Okay. Now, another important point is, Antigens other than microbes. We thought that is bacteria, virus, fungi, protozoan, 
hormones and some other worms they act as pathogens and on the surface of them there are antigens they cause disease but you should know important point that antigens other than microbes other than microbes there are antigens number one you know that is pollen sometimes pollens are act as antigens remember carefully so if these pollen create a immune response in the body that is what is called a fever h a y a fever frequent exposure to the pollen grains some of the people get a fever then we can say pollen grains also act as antigens then feathers birds feathers are also act as antigens then poison or we can say toxins right toxins are act as antigens then virus infected cells on the surface of the virus infected cells there are antigens so virus infected cells act as antigens then cancer cells even on the surface of the cancer cells there are antigens so cancer cells also act as antigens why these all act as antigen because all these are produce immune response remember this they produce immune response and at the end of the immune response there are production of anti bodies anti bodies so therefore they all are also antigens but you need to remember that antigens not only present on the surface of microbes antigens also present in these components but simple and simple properly yavude ondu foreign molecules body a olagade bandaga namma body alli anti body production aadare that foreign molecule we can call it as antigens yavado ondu bandu takshana na antigens anta karikagudilla adu bandaga namma body alli yen production aagbeku anti bodies production aagbeku that molecule we can call it as antigens after knowing one idea about antigens now let us see what are the properties of antigens antigens do have properties okay there are two properties number one is antigenicity example for remembrance i use ag ag second property of antigens are immunogenicity in simple i write ig so there are two properties ag and ig antigenicity and immunogenicity let us see one by one antigenicity means it is ability ability to generate generate a specific immune response specific immune response to produce produce antibodies first properties of the antigen is antigenicity so ability to generate a specific immune response to produce antibodies so antigen should have this ability 
so that antigen should be able to produce antibodies now come to the second property the second property is immunogenicity what is immunogenicity it is ability ability to react with react with antibodies antibodies so these are the two properties first one is ability to produce antibodies after that antigen should have ability to react with antibodies ability react with antibodies is called immunogenicity ability to produce antibodies is called antigenicity so listen here suppose if you think this is the body of a person now one antigen enter now inside the body what happens there are production of antibodies antibodies suppose these are the antigens and here what are produced antibodies are produced y shape to proteins these antigen should bind with antibody if they do not bind with antibody they cannot killed by antibodies so therefore so this should bind with antibody so this is binding so antibody should come and bind to antigens so ability to react with antibody is called immunogenicity ability to produce antibody is called antigenicity okay once you understood this now you can understand types of antigens there are two type of antigens again there are two type of antigens number one is complete antigen the second one is incomplete antigen this is based on antigenicity and immunogenicity right what is complete antigen complete antigen means it is the antigen shows antigenicity plus immunogenicity if both properties are present in a antigen that antigen is called complete antigen now you can say very easily what is incomplete antigen incomplete antigen means this shows only antigenicity in this what is absent immunogenicity is absent antigen which shows only antigenicity is called incomplete antigens therefore if you want to tell the antigen is complete antigens should show both properties antigenicity and immunogenicity but only one property is exhibited by antigen then it is called as incomplete antigen. here you remember one technical word this incomplete antigen is called as this is called as actin actin yes actin dear student what is actin actin is a incomplete antigen so wherever you get the word actin just remember there are incomplete antigen. therefore so in order to working of this incomplete antigens always they need a carrier protein carrier protein so in absence of carrier proteins these antigens cannot work because they show only antigenicity 
so carrier proteins are required to working of anti incomplete antigens so there are two types complete antigens and incomplete antigens incomplete antigen is called heptan there are two properties antigenicity and immunogenicity while well, studying antigens often you get one word that is called epitopes you should know now what is epitope remember epitope is related to antigens now think that this is this is a antigen okay this is antigen so this antigen should bind to antibody right therefore on the surface here this antigen has a binding site antigen has binding site so into which antibody come and bind suppose you think that this is the antibody okay so this is the binding site present in the antigen so into which antibody come and bind therefore we can say this red one we can say what this is the antibody binding site present in antigen so antibody binding site present in antigen is called as epitope this is epitope so epitope is anti body binding site present in antigens so this is about epitopes once again you listen it is epitopes are the anti body binding site present in antigens similarly you get one more word paradox that paradox i will tell you when i discuss about anti body so this is about the brief informations of antigens in the next video we discuss about antibodies till then keep smiling